Today we're going to try to replace the spark plugs on this 2013 Jeep Wrangler. Alright, first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and pop this off and set this to the side. Let's go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal from the battery. We're going to be using a 10 millimeter wrench. This one is a speed ratchet. And just go ahead and set this to the side, just like so. Alright, we're going to use a flathead to remove the intake ducking hose from the intake throttle body. And we're going to undo that pigtail for that sensor as well since we're here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and take this off. And what I am actually going to do is remove this whole induction piping. That way I just have a little bit of more room. There's really nothing here, but it looks like there's some pigtails down here. So let's go ahead and take this off. I used the flathead to take this one off, and this looks like a 10 mil. And go ahead and drive this off and put them in a nice safe location, just like so. Remove this hose from here. Let's go ahead and move this over to the side. And it looks like we have an intake sensor here as well. So let's go ahead and undo this sensor and unplug it. Put this to the side. All right, so now we have a lot more access here. Let's go ahead and undo this pigtail here. Pull the safety backwards and push that in and out. All right, this pigtail was actually kind of a bit of a hassle. I had to use a little pick to kind of just pick it from the bottom and work it out. And there it is. Now we'll go ahead and do it from here. pulls off just like so this right here let's undo this one here all right and let's go ahead and remove this one from here sweet and push that to the side it looks like we have a 10 mil here and a 10 mil here I think this was taken off before I think we should have four there's only two so let's go ahead and remove these Looks like it's holding down our intake manifold. And then we'll pop this hose off here as well since we're at it. Move that to the side. And we're just trying to make room. All right, so go ahead and remove this one from here. And then we'll put these in a nice safe location. And this one over here as well. Right, so I think we might have to remove this bracket because I don't think we'll be able to get it out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these two bolts from down here to release this bracket. Alright, and just put these screws in a nice safe location. The way I did it was with a swivel, the 10, and impact. Makes life easier. And here comes this bracket. Sweet. One less problem we have to worry about. Hopefully this back bracket is not going to be a problem. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and undo all these hoses from here. This one here. Just move these to the side. Just be careful because they're probably brittle. This one here. Just put these out. Alright, so now let's go ahead and start unbolting the manifold. We have a bolt here. All right, to get the top bolts, we're going to be using a 5 16 Can't really see it, but there it is. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. Might be another one back there somewhere, but we we'll shall see. So let's go ahead and start removing these. And there is one more way back here. All right, and let's go ahead and put these in a nice, safe location. These should be longer than these, so that way you don't confuse them. There it is. And it seems like maybe these could actually sit there, but I'm going to just remove them. Make life easier on everyone. I don't want that getting caught on something. And I'm over there yanking on it for dear life. Well, it looks like there is also another little bracket here in the way. 10 mils let's go ahead and remove those two bolts and it looks like maybe this bracket 
will be getting in the way. All right, and just go ahead and put those in the nice safe location you have. And uh, it's the pit bracket. And sweet, I didn't actually have to take that off. I was able to move this bracket here up. It has a little nipple where it latches onto. I was able to slide it out this way, angle it up, and bring it out. And there it is. Sweet. Let's set this to the side. Now we have access to our coil packs. All right, so now let's go ahead and disconnect the pigtails to our coil packs. And we're ready to take these coil packs out to remove the spark plugs. We're going to use 10 mil socket to remove those from there. All right, and then twist this back and forth. There it is. We're just going to go ahead and set this to the side. And we'll take off the other two. And the way I'm going to set these, I'm going to just set them as I take them off. So that way I don't mix and match. And they go back to the same place they came out from. On this one I wasn't able to reach it. So I'm going to use, I guess, just the uh, open box end to get this one off. Unless you have a small 10. Yeah, small 10 is the way to go with this one here. All right, now we're going to use our 5 8 spark plug socket and go ahead and drop it in there slowly. And let's go ahead and remove this spark plug. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right, and there it is. This spark plug actually still looks pretty decent. But we're going to go ahead and swap them out. Let's go ahead and remove the next two. Wow, this last one looks all chewed up. Crazy. Versus this one. Wow. This motherfucker is still hot too. So we're gonna replace them with these champion ones, iridiums. Sweet. Brand spanking new. Let's go ahead and drop them in. Put them in here. Lock them in. They didn't go nowhere. Let's drop them in. When you put this in here, you wanna go nice and slowly. This was reminding me of uh, Back to the Future Part 1. When Emmett Doc Brown puts the plutonium inside the DeLorean. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful like that. <laughs> Screw it on. And we'll secure it down with the ratchet. And secure it with the ratchet. Perfect. And let's go ahead and put each coil pack back to where it belongs let's hold the screw up just twist and turn all the way in there until it seats perfectly put the screw into place and we'll secure them down with the 10 mil right now let's grab the other one and do the same process here swiggle it inside and let's go ahead and bolt this down and we'll secure that one right now with the 10 mil. Let's grab our last one. Same process. Go ahead and bolt those down right now. Let's connect our pigtails. Sweet. Alright, let's go ahead and secure those. Alright, and not too tight, just enough to keep them from coming out. Same thing with this one here. Oh, come on. And same thing with the last one. Perfect. Now, let's jump over to this side now. 
these look a little tricky as well all right so on this side let's go ahead and remove these 10 millimeter so uh, screws i want to say sockets with a 10 millimeter socket uh one two and three looks like previous owners had already worked on this once they cut this so i'm gonna just break this off we don't need that there it's already broken anyways so now we have a little bit more access so let's go ahead and get those off all right these are a pretty tight spot let's go ahead and work all of those ignition coils out Oil packs and we'll get those spark plugs out all right and we'll go ahead and remove the first coil pack and let's go ahead and undo the pigtail first and pull off the coil pack all right and there's the first one go ahead and set that one right there let's go ahead and grab the next one and these back here are a bit trickier I had to use two flatheads one to push down on it and the other one to push it back out here is the last one but I still can't get this one off uh, hopefully I don't have to remove this bracket I'm gonna try to do the same thing that I did with this one here and just try to unlatch it from right there and I'm able to pull it up a little bit and that gives me a lot more access so let me go ahead and undo that real quick all right and there it is now let's go ahead and remove these spark plugs all right, so there they all are. This one looks a little bit burnt, but not as bad as the other side. Uh, I had to use a smaller extension with the swivel to get that last one out. So let's go ahead and put on the new spark plugs. All right, same thing with this one. Go ahead and drop it in there nice and slow. Just go ahead and thread it in and secure it down with the ratchet and just go ahead and secure it down not too tight all right and let's go ahead and put these coil packs back together in the same way just swivel them back and forth let's go ahead and plug them in maybe it would be nice to plug them in first <laughs> that way you have a little bit more clearance all right let's go ahead and secure all those coil packs with the 10 millimeter socket there it is there it is all right, and not too tight. Perfect. All right, and we're ready to throw the intake manifold back on. All right, so here we have the manifold. Let's go ahead and put it back into place. All right, I put the screws through the bracket on that side. And it looks like it's good over here. So now, start getting the screws. One ones go up on top. Make sure it's nice and seated. Then we'll start I'm driving them in. All right, and we'll put the other two in here. Just work it. There it is. And then the four that go one, two, three, and four down there. All right, and let's put the screws in here. Small ones. And right here. The last one, kind of have to feel for it. There it is over here. All right, and we'll drive all these in using a 5/16s. Just go ahead and screw them all down, and we'll secure them. And go ahead and snug them all down. The way I'm doing it is I'm starting from the back one, then this front one, and up here, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And this one. These are all plastic, so you just want to have these snug. That should be good. Let's go ahead and plug in all these lines now. Right there. Put this one 
was underneath like that. Yep. Yeah. This one right here. Bring this one in right here, right there. Same thing back here. Okay. Um, let's put on this bracket. Goes. This way. Like so. Put on the two screws that hold on to it. And let's go ahead and mount those screws right in here. I'm gonna need both hands to do that real quick. And go ahead and secure these down with a 10 millimeter. Both of these right here. And I actually forgot to mention that we need to put these two screws that go right in here. So let's go ahead and remove this hose from here. That will give us a lot more access to that. Let's go ahead and grab our two screws and place them into place and tie them down with a 10 millimeter socket all right and there it is let's put this hose back into place sorry about that whoops let's go ahead and secure those hoses back down all right now my camera wants it clear there it is Let's go ahead and put the 10 millimeter bolts or nuts that are here and back there. Let's go ahead and connect the little PVC pipe. All right, and just go ahead and secure this one and this one right there with a 10 millimeter socket. So it's nice and tight. All right, let's go ahead and connect our pigtails back. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and connect this PVC hose first. Right in there. Now let's go ahead and connect this sensor right up here. Make sure it clicks. Strap it back down. Put it right in its place. Something like this one here. Let's go ahead and strap that down. Strap this one down right here. Let's go ahead and plug it in to the throttle body. This is our airflow sensor, mass airflow. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect our intake ducting. And this is gonna sit right in here. Go ahead and connect the nozzles. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and plug in our pigtail for our intake sensor there it is let's go ahead and tie these down with a flathead make sure you tie down both sides and the other side as well you might need both hands I really can't do this thing all right and let's go ahead and put in our last two screws here they go right in here uh, before we bolt that down this hose goes up here, clips onto that, and these go right in there. Let's go ahead and bolt these down with a 10 millimeter, and secure these down with a 10. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and put a cover back on. The little nipples go right in here, there, and the other one's somewhere. Up here and there. So let's go ahead and plug them in. Give it a nice little slappy, knock it down. Let's go ahead and put in our negative terminal back on. Let's go ahead and secure that with a 10 millimeter socket. All right, and let's go ahead and fire it up. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Fire it up right away. Sweet, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.